We just got back from Summit in Chicago. Pretty decent convention. The video game summit. It was located in North Lake, Illinois. The trip out there, we were going to get a rental car. So we had a RAV4. The cheap asses we were going in there, bartering with them. We ended up with a minivan. The old bad graphics whip. Uh, Damn, son. This thing was badass. Automatic doors. <laughs> you thought that thing had a Hemi. Just Balls to the walls the whole way there. Don't make me go pop the trunk on you. Four hours into the trip, I think it was supposed to be like four and a half hours. Started looking for a hotel. Spent about an hour. Couldn't find a hotel to save our life. Are they busy at midnight? Yeah, I was wondering if you had any uh Hello? Hello. Yellow. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I was wondering if you had any uh, rooms Hello? in here. <laughs> Hello? No, we are out for the night, sir. Yes, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Ma'am, hello? Ma'am, ma your your phone's cutting out. <laughs> we stay at dingy hotels. We try to save some money. And when we went to the Midwest Gaming Classic, we stayed at a bit. I mean, this hotel we stay at there. Oh my God! Oh wow! We're going to a gaming convention. You collect old video games? Oh yes, I used to before. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Chinatown. Chinatown Hotel in Chicago. <laughs> Tempting, Calvin. $128.07. What the? Well, I went into uh, this place called the Starway Inn. It smelled like a <laughs> just a <laughs> hole in the middle of Chicago. Hookers were going in there. Got nowhere to stay tonight. We're going to be sleeping in the van. We got a king size for 60. <laughs> we got to sleep together? Oh Let's take it. God. I'm going to give you the old baby boomer. I'm going to give you the old baby boomer. It smells like <laughs> She's like, is smoking okay? I was like, no. She's like, well, that's all we got. All right, let's see what she has in store for us. Oh. Ooh, definitely smoking. Got a flat screen. T this is luxurious, Buzzy. Oh my God, is that real marble? <laughs> oh my God. This is the... Fucking seven layers on this thing. <laughs> oh my god. Are there any? I don't see any critters yet. <laughs> Alright, so I get the bed, you get the chair. That's how we get pumped up for the show. <laughs> This won't fucking happen. This is so ghetto. I got it. Look. <laughs> Did you get that? Oh my god. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. 
So we were at the Midwest Conference Center where the summit was being held this year. Um, we had pretty good expectations coming into the show. We get there, there it's, it's one elevator to load all of our stuff up. Buzzy just about had a, a stroke and a heart attack. He almost died on the way up. <laughs> there is a fire slash EMT test going on the same day. So as I'm walking in, they're bombarding me, asking me if I was here for the test. I was like, are you serious? Look at me. Does it look like I'm ready to pass a physical fitness test? No. I'm here for the video games. First deal I worked, these two gentlemen come up. They were inter interested in um, Musha, Demon's Crest, and Ghoul School. The asking price was around three thirty-five, and they came at me at two thirty. dollars So automatically, my first impression is this is going to be a long show. I mean, it's, it's a lot of you. I mean, we'll buy a lot of this so. How much? Uh, $250. That's, that's, that's $100 all. Uh, but look at, look at how much stuff I get. I understand. I just, it's still worth something. I don't care how beat up it is. Some people are like, How about a uh, $225? Then we're going to do this. Let's get Jim Fire for $15. You want to do uh, 60 in the jump fire? No? Plus at least you do a hundred in the time. Getting on the old eBay? <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm about 100 games short from a complete collection and I still need that. <laughs> I'll wait till I find them for $4. Uh, that grain is garage sale. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be a gem at gym fire. These conventions can be tough because we're collectors before we are resellers. So right when I get there, I you know I want to look around. I don't want to I don't want to sit there and sit up and sell it. I, I want to buy stuff for my own collection. We ran into our buddy Neil. Uh, he actually lives in Chicago. We met him at the Midwest Gaming Classic. He's a real cool dude. I mean I, Neil's a good guy. I like him, but he is a tight ass. <laughs> You looking to get three of them? So I'm thinking maybe like these two. I'd pass on that one in condition unless he wants to give you a good price on it. Like a really good price. Yeah, I'd pass on that one. That one's kind of common. I wouldn't go with that one. This one's popular, but it's very common. I guess I don't know what you want to spend. What kind of package deal could you do? Like for instance, if you went with the better card and with that one. You guys like my painting pack? Hey, it worked. Would you go 100 just for this one, this one, and the Castlevania, the, the better condition one? Yeah, I could like that. Oh, this man. is like one of the rarest Wii games ever for some stupid reason. I, I, my horse and me! My horse and me! My horse and me! My horse and me! I literally had to hunt down every GameStop in America, only one place had the damn thing. Get your hand off the semen. <laughs> <laughs> well, even as a microphone. I think it's good, man. Voice of uh, Spock or something. Don't call me out. I'll give you a tip. I give you a tip. Just a tip. <laughs> Why didn't we bring bags? You guys got a card? Oh, we do. We got a Facebook page and we're going to try to start a YouTube channel. Rob's holding them out here. Oh, yeah, Did you just buy the Metroid? Yeah. 40. 40? Nice. Yeah, my friend got a big lot from him and. Uh, Four, 40's a deal. Yeah. Yeah. You guys got a power glove back there? Oh no. If you ever find a left handed power glove, I'll buy it. Okay. I think, I think we have 20. <laughs> yeah, you don't see that game. So I ran into uh, Vic from uh, We Play Games in Chicago. He had a booth set up there. He had a Rescue Rangers 2 complete the box. A game I've been looking for for quite some time. I think Jay knew that. You see, what's hard is when we get deals, 
our intention is to keep some and then sell some to try to break even basically. So it can be kind of tough because we pretty much want to keep everything we get. So there's some tension there. Price was three fifty. Uh, both of us already have the cart, so we were just going to keep the box in manual, sell the cart, and basically, you know, lose 150 bucks. But you know, we make it happen. And Jay immediately says the box is his. It's his pick. I mean, he's he's come <laughs> back. He is stingy. I run across a panic restaurant cart. This guy had 400 on this one. It was mint, but the top label was all the way peeled up. I've only seen that on a handful of games, usually the same games, like Cliffhanger, which I still need that game. We wanted it pretty bad. I was thinking that the lowest I want to go is 375. <laughs> I thought I offered him a fair price at 325 taking a gamble on whether I could fix it. I had my buddy Joe from uh, Cerulean Games come over. He's really knowledgeable about cleaning, fixing, you know, prices, just games in general. And uh, he seemed to think the offer I made was about as fair as it was going to get. Joe was just staring at it. Joe was just staring at it. <laughs> it's one of those rare Tino games that's actually fun. A lot of the old. <laughs> we met a guy there. His name was Dave. Real cool guy. A huge collector. Uh, just had a massive amount of good quality games. You know, uh, we ended up at the end of the show, he didn't want to take a lot of it home, so we tried to get a bundle deal. We wanted to get as much of it as possible. A lot of quality items, good stuff. A lot of stuff that we are going to keep. I gave you 200 additional. Oh, that was cool. Yeah. I know, but... He was interested in our Dino Peak, um, so we tried to work out a trade for all the games that he had. Unfortunately, we couldn't do that. I mean, you punched me if I told you what game. Oh, I, I, I know. I had an idea. Because there's some good men. I mean, you get them all. You get the Game Boy. The yeah, this is part of the Maybe I'll take that back. No, no. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's the final say. What do you think, Neil? He gave us a really fair price. Yeah, buddy. So after the convention, we had to load all our stuff up, take it back down another floor. We were heading out to Mansfield, Ohio. We wanted to grab some pizza. That's all right. I'm just going to buzz into this old fanny pack. <laughs> Every trip we take, we end up going to some kind of famous, so whether it's in Philly, we've got cheesesteaks, Chicago, we try to get pizza every time. And you can't beat level one. Yeah, legit. So again, we didn't uh, reserve a hotel on the way to Mansfield because we, we didn't know how tired we would be or how far we could drive. So we ended up staying at a hotel called Roadway Inn. And right when we pull in, there's a gentleman's club next door. We get out of the van and Jay's already got a boner. It's unbelievable. Hookers everywhere. Uh. Unfortunately, we didn't go to the gentleman's club because we had to be up early the next morning. We were only looking to get about five hours of sleep again. So we wake up from night two right next to the gentleman's club and we head over to Mansfield a couple more hours uh, east and through, through Ohio. Buzzy says he gets a chubby cherub from Khloe Kardashian. Kim Kardashian 
has got by Kanye West, Chris Humphreys, Gabriel Audrey, Michael Capone, Miles Austin, Cristiano Ronaldo, 50 Cent, Reggie Bush, Scott Storch, Evan Ross, Shad Moss, Marcus Houston, Nick Cannon, The Game, you realize Nick Lachey, Ray J, Damon Thomas, Joseph Lawrence. I said like, Chloe has gotten hotter. Dude, you're like, if she, if Kim was in a booty thong with leggings, you would not say no. Word for word. You're laughing. I know I'm telling the truth. I bet you. And Buzzy says he's Italian. He says they kiss each other all the time. I swear to God. Chloe. You can blow Bruce Jenner. Chloe. And we end up at Gamers Con in Mansfield, Ohio. Just rolling up on the old Gamers Con in Mansfield. Back room barn grill. Uh, we met Jared, the guy that runs the convention. Super nice guy. This convention went a lot better than we thought. We ended up doing pretty well. We enjoy going to these things, talking to other gamers, making trades. Even people that live local to us came up and we made trades. We ended up working a deal with a gentleman named Reptile. Why the fuck would his name be Reptile? <laughs> Looks like a turtle. <laughs> oh, oh, now she's oh, oh, no, okay. breaking the fire. <laughs> Actually, you know, I'm too, too nervous. So the only way in and out was to crawl under the table. And I felt like every time I did it, my booty snatch was just hanging out. My horse and me! I 